God bless you students today the last topic of the sixth chapter is prevention of groin a huge amount of iron is destroyed each year by groin different methods are used to prevent groin the simplest method the coating of oil paint and varnishes the most important and the expensive method is coating the metal with other metals in order to prevent corrosion resistance coating is made between metal and environment galvanizing the second name is anode coating tin plating the second name is cathode coating thin coating of zinc on iron coating of tin on iron tin plating to coat the surface of iron with a thin layer of tin it protects iron from rusting by preventing it from contacting air and water tin plating is commonly used in making food cans since tin and tin ions are not poisonous the process of tin plating consists of dipping the clean sheet of the iron in a bath of the molten tin and then passing it through hot pair of the rollers such plates are used in the manufacturing of tin cans oil containers what happened if the tin coating is scratched what happened iron sheet is directly contact to to the moisture and air in this way galvanic cell is established tin acts as a cathode and iron acts as an anode the electrons flow from iron to tin discharge h positive ion and leaving oh negative ions these oh negative ions react with iron and they form a feoh3 this feoh3 is rapidly dissolved in water so the rusting is started from this it can be concluded that plated iron plated iron gets rust more rapidly when the protective coating is damaged as compared to non plated iron galvanizing to protect the surface of iron with a thin layer of zinc galvanized iron the layer of zinc prevents iron from contacting air and water dipping a clean iron sheet in zinc chloride bath and heating in this case if protective layer of zinc is damaged a galvanic cell is established protective layer of zinc is damaged a galvanic cell is established the presence of a moisture iron act as a cathode and zinc act as a an anode electrons flow from zinc to the iron as a result zinc decays while iron is intact in this process called sacrificial corrosion and the equation iron two positive contain two electrons from a zinc and they form a neutral iron and the zinc is two positive charge it's mean zinc lose two electrons and two electrons except the iron element this process is used in water pipes at straw watch the next video you understand the process of gal galvanizing